Aren't smelly people fun? Body odors come from three primary sources. Underarm bacteria, foot bacteria, and the third one, old people smell. Here's what causes it, and here's what you can do about it. Hi, I'm Keith. Not only am I a seven-year cancer survivor, but I've completely reversed five other chronic diseases by educating myself. I studied over 4,000 clinical reports on the root cause of all chronic disease. If you want to make some minor tweaks, follow me, and I'll show you simple science-based strategies to get you feeling much, much better. If you want to make some major changes, either DM me or get on my calendar, and let's talk. You know how when you walk into a room and you notice an odor, and then after 10 or 15 minutes, the odor seems to be gone? That's because your olfactory senses start to get overloaded and you don't smell it anymore. Well, do you smell? You might, and you might not even know it. A lot of people smell. The two primary sources of body odor throughout life are sweat breaking down by virtue of bacteria that's in that area, particularly under arms and on your feet. But old people smell is a lot different. Throughout life, we have omega-7s on our skin. <clears throat> it's a form of fatty acid. To prevent their breakdown, we have antioxidants on our skin also. But as we age, the prevalence of those antioxidants begin to decline, in part due to lack of exercise, lack of a good diet, all sorts of other lifestyle factors. As those omega-7s begin to break down, they cause the creation of a compound called 2 nonanol and two on and all smells like old people. Where's that typically found? On the back of your neck and behind your ears. So wash up people, we don't wanna smell. If you like these videos, please like and share and we'll see you again soon.